Hello everyone, Matt here from Parse. Today I'm going to show you how to create a one-to-many relationship using Parse. We're going to take a look at a simple blogging application and see how we can associate users to their blog posts. Here we have a simple iOS application. It has two view controllers. This is a blog table view controller that will populate with the current user's blog posts. The second is a new post view controller where the user will be able to type in a new post and add it using the navigation bar button. So let's take a look at the code we need to make this work. In the application delegate, we've already added application ID and client key. And here, we've hard-coded the registration of a user. So let's start by creating a new post object. In the new post view controller, the add navigation bar button is linked with the add button touch handler method. So this is where we can add our code. We'll start by creating a new PF object of class post. Next, we'll save the text entered by the user in a key we'll call text content. Now we need to create a relationship between the post and the author. Since a user can write many posts, but a post is always written by a single user, this is an example of a one-to-many relationship. Parse allows you to set another PF object as the value for a key, since PF user is a subclass of a PF object can simply set the current user as the value for a key in our new post object. Now, when we'll want to retrieve a post written by this particular user, we'll simply have to provide parse with the same PF user object. Notice that you didn't have to add any primary or foreign keys to create this relationship. You can simply set the object itself as a field and Parse will take care of the rest. For added security, we can add an access control list to our new object using the current user. By setting the public read access property to yes, we ensure that while any user can read the post, only its creator can modify it. Now we just need to save our new object. When it's successfully saved, we can dismiss the new post view controller that was presented modally. Now that post objects are correctly associated to their author and saved to parse, we need to retrieve and present them in the blog table view controller. The refresh button touch handler method is linked to the refresh navigation bar button, so we'll add our code here. Since we want to retrieve post objects, we'll start by creating a new PF query object set to the class post. Next, we'll add a condition to our query asking to retrieve all posts where the author key is equal to the current user. Now, we simply need to execute the query using the find objects in background with block method. When it finishes successfully, we save the object's return in a property called post array. As we'll see in a second, this array will be used to populate the table. To ensure the table's data is refreshed, we also have to call the reload data method on the table view. To configure the table cells to display the post's text content, we need to modify the self row at index path method. Here, we start by retrieving the post objects from the array based on the table cells row index. Next, we set the cells text to the post text content. Our application should now be complete, so let's try it out. Let's try adding posts. After we add them, they should be displayed in the table view. Here's our first post. And here's the second one. So today we saw how easy it is to create one-to-many relationships between your parse objects. You don't need to add any special attributes, you can simply set one PF object as the value for a key on another PF object. When you want to make a query based on that relationship, you can again simply use that PF object directly. In our case, we wanted to save posts created by a certain user, and then later retrieve all posts that user created. So we use a current user as the value for a key on our post object, and to retrieve the user's post, we used a PF query and added the condition that the author is equal to the current user. 
Parse is a very powerful platform, and there's really a lot you can do with it. So check us out at Parse.com, sign up for an account, and hack away. Thanks.